Okay, we've been talking about how to present our values in a legend in the most effective way possible by limiting the significant digits and changing the way we label. But another way that we can do this in ArcGIS Pro is by normalizing these data. So instead of showing just a raw value for the emissions in thousands of tons per year, we could, for example, calculate what percent of the total emissions each class represents. Um, just a side note really quick, if you have already converted your legend to a graphic, um, you'll have to reinsert a new legend because you can't, you can't dynamically update um, a legend once it's been converted to graphics. All right, so if we go into our power plant's symbology, here's the normalization field. So we're displaying thousands of tons um, per year, and we can normalize that by calculating the percentage of the total, with, which ARC does for us automatically. Um, of course, we have to go back in now and clean up our labels. And I think the best way to handle this distribution and some of these um, still a little bit messy um, classes is to take care of that over here. So we can change our upper values to cleaner numbers. We're displaying using the natural breaks, which is going to give us a pretty decent distribution within each one of our classes. But we can use those numbers as a starting point. And then we'll want to update our units. And then I think it would make sense to add some text explaining exactly what this means, because we're not talking about all CO2 emissions in the world or even in all of Utah. So we'll add a note explaining that. So I've added my note, and I think we'll make this gray so that it's not quite as bold as the rest of our legend. And we don't need to show the duplication of this title here. So we can get rid of that in our legend. If we go to the properties for that data set, we can just turn off the layer name. And then let's convert to graphic to create some space here again.